All right, guys, we're here pretty kind of early in the morning, trying to beat the rain. I had a viewer request about the barbed wire puller, how it works, and what come along I use. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do a little research and look on the tractor supply website and see if I can find this because there is no like engraving or like no name on it. Uh, all that I found, when I walked in there and I wanted to get a puller as they just had a zip tie with a price tag on it. So no name brand, but hopefully it should be on tractor supply or I'll find it on Amazon. And then they also want to know what come along I use just a small, you know, whatever small one it is. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be any brand. I think it's a, it was in a, a Reese's hitch box brand. It's, I don't know. It's just a cheap Chinese one. You just want one that'll clip onto here where you don't have to do some crap. Because barbed wire is four, 1,400 feet, uh, 13 something, 400 meters for number one guy in Australia there. And uh, if you're running the whole length of wire, you're still not gonna use the come along. You're not gonna pull it straight. It's gonna have a, it's gonna have a sag in it. If you pull it straight, you'll probably pull your post out of the ground. So just remember that if you stretch your wire, it's it's gonna it's gonna sag a little bit. You're just gonna come along it, walk along, kind of pick it up, feel the tension. It's hard to explain it. You're just gonna have to do it, but don't over tension it. You, you'll know once you start putting your clips on and other things like a banjo string. I don't know what kind of strings they have in Australia, but let me uh, see them two trees. We'll just wrap some wire around there. Hope to come along to there, and I'll show you how it works. Or I really only need to show you how the wire goes on this. The come along is pretty self-explanatory. When you're pulling your wire, I usually use the back of my truck hitch, which you can use the front bucket of a tractor. It's whatever you got. The first three strands, you can use the back of the hitch, ain't bad, because the wire will be down. You can pull it up, staple it, pull it up, staple it, pull it up, staple it. But once you get over the third strand, you're not gonna be able to pull it up. So you wanna come up and come along at about waist high where you can pull it up a little bit. That's why a front bucket comes in handy where you can pick it up and down. Um, Try to think any other. If you can't, if you can't raise up too high, you can pull way far away, come along it, and then you just have a longer strand that you can pick up higher. It's just whatever works for you. When you're dealing with the wire, another good thing to have is a good pair of gloves. I've rolled about 20 rolls with these gloves. Just now starting to fail. There were a 3M. This one has tinsulate, but that's because I was doing it in the winter. But super valuable. Don't wear shorts. Uh, be careful when you cut that barbed wire because it's going to want to go back. And if you're in the way, it's going to go around you. The gloves is a good thing to have. It's pretty much a must. Here's the come along. What I did was I pulled the pin because normally it's it's double backed and then it uses this pulley. Then uh, you know your cord's so much shorter and you're only pulling wire so it's, it's not necessary. This part I'll wrap around a tree or something and then right here is where I'll hook the wire puller. It doesn't hook the best, but it goes in there. You have to come along and you pull along. It, it can be a tad bit aggravating. It's not bad. You get this little split. So you, this is like a wedge. So you're gonna pull it up here. You can set your wire down there, hold your wire. Turn it so that the wire isn't in the slit. Pull it forward. It's like a Chinese finger trap. It locks it in there and you're gonna so. Give me a second, we'll do a little set. All right, gonna have to forgive the mess. I'm doing, a, I'm gonna do a remodel on my bathroom soon. I started taking out the shower. FYI, FYI those may feel like plexiglass, but they're not. So don't do what I did and throw it out the back door and the other one explode. <laughs> so, anyway, so we 
you saw the barbed wire puller. I think it's pretty neat. You know, it catches a little junk in the wire, but the wire's still rolling out, so the junk's falling off. So you got it attached to your post. You head to your other post. Well, you're gonna be heading past the post because you're gonna be tying to it. This is just showing you how this works. I got a lot of cable out here, though, unfortunately. Make sure you get your gloves on, because stuff ain't no fun. You wrap around your posts. All right, here we are in our wire. Have it hooked on into your come along. Pull this forward. Get your wire. You're gonna slide it in here. Turn it. Pull it forward. Let's pull back on your come along. Where it pinches it. There you go. Not too bad. Then you can uh, pop in your wire staples and you can release it. Wrap around your post, put some more wire staples, twist it however you want to attach it to your post. If that's got it in a bind right there. It can't go nowhere because it's pulling that and the wires on the ring pulling it the other way. So they're pulling both options. So it's got it pinched. Um, I just have it attached to a <laughs> big cement mixer over there. And now I'm pulling the cement mixer. It's a pretty solid connection. We'll get a closer shot up on that. And that is how it's gonna look. See, it just pinches it in there. Let's make sure this groove is on the opposite side. And this is a smaller come along. It's not nothing crazy. Like I said, you don't need to pull the wire that much. It's probably, uh, I think it's a two, one and a half ton, half ton. So I hope that answered your uh, question on what it is. I'm going to edit the video and post it. And as it's uploading, there's one before it's uploading too. But as this one's uploading, I'm going to look and find the links for the puller. And I'll find you a couple come along links and I'll put them in the description. And, uh. That should help, hopefully. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if you have any other things you'd like to see. In the future, as soon as the fall comes, it's it's still, still about two more months. We're going to be clearing fence lines and doing some more fencing. So I'll try to do a little more in-depth how I do the wire. But different parts of the country has different ways they do it. And different parts of the world definitely probably has different ways. The post, I'll usually wrap it three or four times, but as I wrap it, I'll, I'll kind of stick it down around itself so it's got friction, and I'll put like three or four staples. Not haven't had a problem, but uh, I've seen some things that are called uh, cat's claws, I think. Yeah, it uses impact driver. It has like a claw and then a, a screw. You just put it over the wire, and then boom. I wanted to get those. Those are pretty neat. They're actually made in Australia. But uh, I just, I didn't have time to order them or nothing. Like I said, like and subscribe. Down in the comments, let me know uh, everything else you'd like to see. If I can try to explain it. And uh, let people know how you do it. How you run your wire. What you use to pull the wire. All that good stuff. You guys know the drill. Uh, stay safe. And uh, let me get out of here before it rains.